Hey, 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 YouTubers, welcome back to Galactic Gaming. This is Hadfield15 reporting for duty. Today we are back with some more LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. Last time we played this game, we had finished collecting all of the mini kits and other stuff on Star Killer Base. We're officially done there until further notice. So, yeah, right now we are back here at the Resistance Base on Takadena to revisit uh, Chapter 7 to try and get all those mini kits. And if we have time, we might even do uh, Luke's Silent at the end of this video. So just before we begin, you guys, can this video please hit 15 likes, and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please be sure to smash that subscribe button if you want a shout-out. Be sure to show your subscription to me publicly if you want to make sure you get a shout-out. So, without further said, we're all systems go for this video in 3, 2, 1, here we go. So if I sound a little bit down, then I have some, uh, I have some terrible news for you guys. So, if you guys know that there's, uh, Miiverse on the Wii U and pretty much everything for, uh, Nintendo, um, yeah, I just have some terrible, terrible news. I just, uh, this morning I was just, uh, checking my status on Miiverse, just checking out, see who left a like on my posts, but I just received some terrible news. So, turns out, uh, November 7th, Miiverse is going to be closing down for we have to good. We parts of the track to fix up a ship, but you should have enough left to plug the gas. Yeah, I should, but anyways, yeah, Miiverse is apparently shutting down November 17th, uh, no, November 7th of, uh, 2017. So, it was, uh, this is actually, this is honestly really sad for me because I was really beginning to enjoy Miiverse. I had a lot of, I had, I had a fun time creating all those posts on Miiverse. Um, I, there is a, Nintendo did clearly say that there it would there, there will be a request to uh, download all the stuff that you've, uh, like all the screenshots you've made up until uh, closing day. So later today, while I'm, maybe while I'm uploading this video, I'm going to go onto Miiverse on my computer and I'm going to tell, I'm going to make that request to download all my screenshots and I might even make a, Compilation telling you guys all this showing you guys all the stuff that I did up until Miiverse closes because I do pixel art and Smash Bros Screenshots, so yeah again. This is honestly a bit of a kick to the balls uh, Knowing that Miiverse is closing because I was really beginning to enjoy it. I only have uh, three followers on Miiverse um, Okay, let's see red green blue um, up, 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 up. Yes, there we go, there we go. But anyways, yeah, it's really sad to see that Miiverse is closing, because again, I was really honestly beginning to enjoy it. But, I'm, but we still have a few months until Miiverse closes, so I'm going to make the most of Miiverse until November 7th when it closes. So if you guys want to go follow me on Miiverse, be sure you go uh, check out the description below. Be sure you uh, try and follow me on Miiverse. I'll leave a link to the website if I can find it down below. Okay, so we have that thing open. I remember there was a mini kit encased in ice here, along with... Uh, Love with all that stuff, so let's just uh, send a flame trooper in there. Thankfully, thankfully I can access. Uh, thankfully, I can access stuff with uh, actual flame trooper right here. So let's just. Uh, I don't know. Let's go right in. Oh, oh, okay. So I can. Uh, um, okay, I can. I only access that place via snow trooper. But thankfully, I have those snow troopers right here. Yes, here we go. We're gonna go with the classic snow trooper. And of course, oh wait a minute, I see what we've got to do here, we've got to use a lightsaber and uh, shot that stuff off, but hold on, you know what, I'm just going to get rid of all the, I'm just going to get rid of all the bad attitude that I have right here, but I got some good news for you guys, today is actually Chris Hadfield's uh, 58th birthday, so yeah, be sure you, um, I have, like I said last year, I made a vlog for Chris Hadfield because it was his birthday, so if you guys want to go check out Chris Hatfield's channel, be sure you go check out the description below, be sure you leave a like and a comment on his uh, channel, and above all, be sure you go subscribe to uh, Chris Hatfield, because he's, his channel is really good, I mean, it's Chris Hatfield's Rare Earth, and it's like his son doing uh, some monumental stuff from across the globe, but yeah, his channel is still interesting nevertheless, I mean, again, if you guys want to go subscribe to Chris Hatfield's Rare Earth, be sure you go check out the description below, and again, if you guys want to make sure you, if you guys want to go follow me on Miiverse, be sure you also go check out the description below, because I really, really want to gain some more followers and make the most of this wonderful website, wonderful place, uh, wonderful community, I should rather say, before it closes down, so my Miiverse, uh, my Miiverse channel will hopefully be in the description below, but anyways, there we go, we already have that. Now, if I remember correctly, there was something else that we were supposed to do. Um, let's see, there was a crane right here. Okay, yeah, there's the crane. There's the crane. Okay, flame trooper, you can stop pointing that at me. I thought it was me for a moment, but no, that's just uh, that's just the flame trooper from earlier. Now, I think we're supposed to uh, switch it back to myself and just, uh, yeah, there we go. We're supposed to go ahead, blow that up, and... Uh, yeah, we're gonna blow, um, we're gonna build this thing up, and we're gonna switch back to BB-8 and get him 
no, no, that's not the way I wanted to go in life. But of course, this isn't the way I wanted to go at all until Meverse closes. Because, yeah, again, this is honestly a real kick to the balls uh, for a lot of us who uses Meverse like me. Alright, there we go. We now have, uh, we now have all that stuff in place so we can easily get that stuff done. Um, let's see. Let's see. Well, how can I access this thing? Okay, it's a resistance thing, and for some reason, only J.J. Abrams can access it. Well, he is a creator of Star Wars The Force Awakens, so I don't blame him being the only person to have access to areas like this. Now, I swear, I could have sworn I reached this area before. Oh, Oh, okay, so that accesses that stuff. Oh, okay, I think I see what we can do. Okay, so J.J. Abrams can command these guys. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So let's get someone with, uh, Sith powers. So we haven't used, uh, I don't know, we don't use, uh, Darth, uh, but Count Dooku. I don't know why I just, uh, but just about said Darth, uh, Dooku or whatever. That just doesn't sound right. So Count Dooku is what I was trying to say. Uh, we don't use him, uh at all pretty much so let's go ahead and use his force powers to open all these crates he has a cruel he has a nicely shaped lightsaber i'll give him that i'll just uh i'll just give him that he's not one of my he's not really my favorite character in the series uh in terms of the trilogy my favorite character would have to be my boy general grievous he was always he was always the coolest way back then okay so jj we're gonna get everybody to film this next scene by helping um general leia which i'll be dressing up as open this uh Pull this crate down. There we go, guys. There we go. Really good acting. Really, really good acting. I'm trying my best to sound all happy-go-lucky like I usually am on YouTube because, you know, you guys always see me as this uh, happy, charismatic astronaut. But, of course, uh, yeah, I'm still just kind of uh, trying to get over the fact that Meverse is shutting down. But, again, I'm going to try my... I'm going to do my best to make the most of it. I'm going to make a lot of pixel arts, a lot of Smash Bros. Uh, stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be hopefully posting a lot of Smash Bros. Uh, replays because I don't think I'll be able to do that. Well, I'll be able to upload them to YouTube and Miiverse, so hopefully I'll be able to still post Smash Bros. replays. But by all means, I'll still be able to post uh, Smash Bros. videos even after uh, Miiverse shuts down. So, yeah, it's going to be a sad day when Miiverse shuts down even though I've used it for like less than a year, but it's still going to be... Uh, still gonna be, I'm still going to have a fun time with it nevertheless. Okay, I think I accessed... Uh, the mini kit that was in there. Okay, I've hit True Jedi, but for some reason, I'm still gonna go around and collect all this money that's right here. So, you guys, um, as a lot of you may or may not know, school is starting up May 5th for me. So, yeah, May 5th, uh, this upcoming May 5th, of course, uh, I'm gonna be going back to school. And of course, I'm not gonna be able to do videos as often as I normally am able to do them. Well, I'm still gonna try and maintain my schedule, but I'm not gonna be able to post vi uh, videos early in the morning like I usually am able to do, because, um, yeah, it's going to go back to that old schedule where I'm able to post videos at like, uh, where videos that are normally show up at like, uh, 5 in the evening, so, yeah, yeah, of course, uh, video schedules are going to be changing up, but my content sure as heck isn't going to be changing, so I'll try and do, uh, I'll try my best to do regular uploads as much as I can, but I'm going into grade 10 this year, you guys, so of course my schedule may or may not be changing up, so if I'm not able to do a video one day, that might be for a really good reason, because I'm either studying for, like, uh, exams or something, I'll let you guys, um, I'll probably, I'll most likely let you guys know what, uh, what the deal is in the next, uh, in the video before that. Now, there was something else right before it. I'm just trying to figure out what it was before it. Uh, well, that thing is clearly in position, so I'm really not sure what else we're supposed to do here. Oh, wait, I think we're supposed to, uh, yeah, I think we're supposed to hop up here. Oh, yeah, I think that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to hop up on this bar right here. Yeah, there we go. Now we got the power rutted to it. Yes, there we go. We now have all that stuff done. There we go. Um, I think, oh yeah, it is the same deal. It is the same deal with this one right here. Now, before we actually go through the next uh, phase of this, before we go through the gates in the next phase of this uh, level, I should say, well, just, uh, okay, it's pointing to a mini kit that's right over here. Now, how we get to it, I have no clue at the very, at the moment here. Uh, let's see. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe it's, uh, yeah, maybe it's through this door here, because there's no, uh, there's no cutscene playing here, so it's gotta be somewhere through this door. Okay, I know I've collected all, I know I've gotten True Jedi and all, but let's just still super nuke this place anyway. Okay, I don't know why I'm using the term super nuke. I only like to use the term super nuke for super missiles in, uh, Metroid Other M, but, eh, whatever. Okay, it's a resistance terminal here, and then there's, uh, okay, the mini kits or whatever is right behind this door right here. Okay, we're supposed to command people to step on all these things, so let's, uh... Let's switch you back to J.J. Abrams, the maker of Star Wars. 
Now we're gonna tell everybody, okay, everybody, the um, next acting, next scene, we're gonna step on all these platforms here so our heroes can get access to the area that's right here. Great acting, you guys. Great, great acting. Okay, that's gonna open up that thing, which is not what I expected, but, yeah, whatever. I suppose anything can happen here in LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. You know, now that I think about it, I've never really have posted anything on, uh, LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens on Miiverse, so, yeah, I might make a few posts on Miiverse when I, uh, get the chance to before it closes down. Alright, there we go. We have that terminal access, so maybe this will... Yeah, there we go. It's gonna lead us into this... Okay, it's just gonna open this thing up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, yeah, I think I now know. Okay, I think we've already gotten that mini kit, because he'd be pointing to that room before we even did that. Yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, super grenade the rest of this place here, because I still want to get some money, even though I've already hit true Jedi for this level. I mean, again, I want to try and use the words uh, super nuke only for super missiles in Metroid Other M. Yeah, yeah, I've already, I've totally already gotten that mini kit, because he'd be pointing to that and the other droid way before I did all that stuff. Okay, it's, uh, this stuff now, um, okay, I could just, uh, do all this stuff here, all fine and dandy. Oh, wait, I think I know what's happening here. Um, oh, okay, oh, okay, and now I know what was supposed to happen here, I, it's been a while since I've done this level, so, of course, I'm gonna not remember very much of this. Okay, I think it was actually around this time last year, okay, no, it may have been a little earlier that I did this. Alright, it says there's a good old mini kit right here. Um, okay, it says it's something or something to do here with this hollow projector, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and access this thing here first. Maybe that'll have uh, maybe that'll have something to do with the mini kit. I have no uh, current clue, but I hey, I suppose we'll figure it out as we go along with this level. All right, there we go. We got those uh, monitors up and going. Uh, it kind of looks like glass. Oh, you know what? That's actually really cleverly hidden. I knew it had something to do with this uh, hollow projector right here. And what it had to do with it, I had no clue, but until now. Okay, BB-8, we're all done here, so now go ahead and show you... Now we're going to show everybody the map, parts of part of the map to Luke Skywalker and uh, Starkiller Base. And hopefully Finn will find uh, the weak point of that place, which is the thermal oscillator in this case. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just loading. It's just good old loading bar. Yeah, there we go. Don't you hate it when it always slows down just before it finishes uploading, but it well, finishes uploading anyway. I mean, sort of a suspenseful moment in my opinion, but hey, at least the job gets done. It's not like it kind of resets the whole thing just when it's at like 99.99%. Like, if that, that's never really happened to me, but if I, I swear, if that ever happened to me, and it was like a really important game, which I've been trying to do it for hours and hours, trying to download it for hours, multiple attempts, I would have just smashed my keyboard on my laptop. Then, of course, I wouldn't need a new laptop. Well, I'm planning to get a new laptop for my birthday this year anyway. Okay, yep, there are two Hatfields here. Okay, of course, okay, of course Han Solo easily knows that this uh, Hatfield 15 is the fake, so we're going to switch it to the Flame Trooper. Oh, wait, this doesn't help my case, so we're going to switch it. To, we're just going to switch it to me. All right, we're going to blow up all these crates, even though we actually need them for the Assault on Starkiller Beast, even though we've already carried that out, because I was... Uh, Dumb enough to forget that we needed to do this level first. Well, it doesn't have to be in order, I think. Yeah, it doesn't have to be in order, to the best of my knowledge. Alright, okay. Yeah, we're supposed to access uh, that terminal right there, so... Uh... Oh, wait, there was a... There's a couple things right here, so... Oh, wait, I, Finn has a lightsaber, so of course he'll be able to access it. I forgot Finn's the only person here with a lightsaber, so... Uh, B, B, there we go, there we go. Very much like the kick climbing in Other Am, very much like it. Okay, of course I remembered Finn has still has the lightsaber, so he's gonna easily cut that thing open with one hand. I mean, again, just like the fight, just like in the fights, uh, Mayweather versus McGregor this Saturday, I'm on, I was always on Team McGregor. I mean, the fight went almost exactly as I had predicted. I, I mean, McGregor would get tired after a certain period of time, then ultimately McGregor would go down and Mayweather would just, uh, defeat him. But it was still a really interesting, uh, it was really a historic fight to watch nevertheless. So it was, uh, Really good time for me. I watched History in the Making. It reminds me of this time back in uh, 2014. I want to say it was... No, I think it was late 2014 or early 2015 that NASA did the historic test flight of their Orion spacecraft. I don't know. It's, I'm, a, I'm a space genius and all, but... Hey, I forget stuff uh, over a period of time. I, it was still a pretty historic day watching the... Um, the um, the Delta V Heavy Rocket is what I was looking for. Um, lift off with uh, Orion and its uh, cargo hold. It was still, again, really, really a historic day in my defense. 
Alright, since there's supposed to be a mini kit right here, so let's just, uh... Okay, okay, we're not doing anything. Okay, there's all these parts right here, so maybe we have to build something which will give us, uh... Access to the mini kit. Yeah, there we go. That's what I think what we're supposed to do right here. Oh, okay, we're supposed to hit three of those. Okay, that makes, uh... That makes a lot of sense here. Now, let's try not uh, to shoot anything else in that room because there's rockets in there. Okay, let's be careful with this rocket payload because you never know. It could combust at literally any freaking second. All right, there we go. We're got You guys go get those uh, go get those nukes loaded up onto the Falcon, even though we mostly rely on blasters and rockets. Well, at least in... Uh, or at least more of what I can see, the Falcon might use uh, rockets. Hell, heck if I know. All right. You gotta look around for three of those uh, things. I saw I saw a thing that was okay. The pointer, the red the red brick pointer is all the way over here. How many mini kits do we have? Okay, we have seven of them. Okay, we're gonna require a little more work. Okay, there's a uh, thing there who who just won't budge for unless he gets ice cream. So yeah, okay, crap. My super grenade blew stuff up all the way over there. But thankfully I have the stun magnet, so I'll just give myself infinite uh, infinite flow of cash. Yeah, that's a good thing to have, isn't it? Okay, there's another thing, there's another mini kit right here, so we gotta super nade it. Yeah, super nade is gonna be my term for super grenades. Okay, we're just gonna blow that stuff up, just because I'm feeling in a bit of a pyromaniac mood. Well, I may be in a pyromaniac mood, but at least that's not a pyromaniac as uh, Pyro from Team Fortress too, because as we all know, he may be seeing like fluffy unicorns and all in his uh, through his mask, but meanwhile, in the real world, it's just straight up hell. Yeah, classic Vader. Classic Vader just caught the competition up with your force powers and lightsaber. Okay, it's not in here, so the mini kit has definitely got to be in this bigger, uh, more suspicious looking crate. Um, let's see, is it? Nope, it is not. So maybe it's in uh, this smaller looking crate right here. Uh, Okay, it's in, none, it's in none of these. Oh, wait, there's a wall right here which we could use our force powers to open or just straight up destroy. Okay, it seems... Oh, it made a picture of Luke. Well, in my opinion, this is actually a good, a really big example of irony because uh, well, I guess Darth Vader finally misses uh, Luke instead of wanting him to come over to the dark side. I guess he actually just wants to be an actual father for once. So, I guess you could say I'm on infinite levels of irony right now. It's just like that old suck meme where it's like, how many layers of irony are you on? Like, maybe five or six right now, my dude. It's like, you are like a little baby. Watch this. It's just like the, as you guys all know, that's just a floating head. Okay, you know what? I'm just not even gonna continue on. Because uh, a lot of you guys probably know the suck meme. It's two It's two C's for those of you who don't know. It's not S-U-C-K. It's S-U-C-C for some reason. I don't know. The wrong spelling is just popular these days. Okay. Ah, uh, crap. I accidentally killed my squad here, and I needed them to uh, get my stuff, wherever that will be. Okay, there we go. We're going to build an A-Wing fighter. That's our next thing on the list. All right, JJ, let's see what kind of acting gig you got for these guys next. All right, guys, we're gonna, you're just going to follow me over here to the next part of the film set, which we need to get stuff done in. Okay, I really honestly forgot where I'm supposed to go right here. Okay, I'm supposed to hop it up on that elevator, but... Oh, right, I forgot I need C-3PO. I need C-3PO for this job here. So, okay, if, okay, oh, okay. those troopers uh, still aren't under, aren't under uh, JJ's command once I switch to a different Excuse character. Excuse me, sir. Would you be so kind as to provide us with access to the supply store? Yeah, apparently um, resistance members are too freaking stubborn to do that. I mean, if you give them what they want, they'll give us what they want. I mean, what we want, I should say. is not in a cooperative mood. Huh. Apparently, he was promised Beebleberry ice cream to cope with the heat in here, and he is unwilling huh. to, to think they would have better. To think they would have better AC in the resistance space. I mean, this planet looks uh pretty cool. It's very much like Earth, but hey, it could have those raging hot climates. Like you never expected. Okay, I think that's what we needed to do. We needed to get that elevator set and going. Okay, guys, next scene we're heading on over to the elevator. So just uh. Come along and follow me. Okay, the bands are roaring a little thin, but that's just a normal... The flashing there is just like a normal thing. All right, guys, everybody on. Everybody on to the elevator. Okay, Greg, looks like we're going to have to leave you behind. And it looks like we're going to have to uh, leave that other guy behind. So, Susie, it looks like it's just uh, looks like it's just you and me. All right, the uh, power of the memes needs to be used over there. Um, uh, okay, screw it. I'm just going to go ahead and build this thing right here. Okay, there's a few things I need to do right here. So... Uh, let's go ahead and use, uh, BB-8 for it. Oh, wait, BB-8 can't access it? Okay. Okay, I guess I can access it. 
Okay, we can actually control the, the thing. Oh, okay, I just, it just occurred to me that's what we need to do. Okay, that's what we needed to do here. We just need to, uh, we just need to get that crate down into the right place, and then that would, uh, get everything done. Um, okay, what am I supposed to do here? Um, whoa, oh, oh, okay, I'm getting the power flowing. I don't know why. It would just flow automatically without me having to push it in a specific direction. I mean, that just seems, uh, slightly strange in my opinion, because, you know, you know, power just flows at the speed of, uh, light or whatever speed it normally flows in. Ah, uh, it's still, this still kind of satisfying though, nevertheless. It's like a nice, uh, nice little camera view. It's just like one of those oddly satisfying videos. This is just oddly satisfying to me. It's just, uh, stuff rolling down the crates. Uh, okay, well, I think we're stuck. Okay, no, we're not stuck here. We're not stuck. Um, okay, oh, we're supposed to, uh, have it go that way. Oh, okay. It's just, it'd be easier if we had arrows pointing in the right direction we need to go in. Oh, okay. It just plops it out right there. I completely forgot that. Okay, the things. Okay, the thing is moving, but the conveyor belt wasn't moving. So, what kind of logic mystery is behind this? Okay, we need uh, FN2199 with the power of his meme baton to break stuff down. So, there we go. We got a good old FN2199. And by the power of. Okay, no, that's not what I wanted to do. By the power of memes. Uh, Okay, sure, just swing your baton around because it's a cool meme. Anyways, by the power of meme skull, let's break this wall down. Yeah, okay, it's a BB-8 hatch, so maybe this will lead us to the red brick for this level. Yep, it led us to that good old red brick. Red's my favorite color. Okay. Well, those, uh, those, uh... Missiles give off a unsatisfyingly small explosion. I mean, they uh, to think they have like a really, really big explosion. Well, of course, that kill everybody. So, yeah, I guess it's one of those unsatisfying moments. Okay, FN2199. I thought you were stormtrooper for a moment, and I got a little scared for a moment. But no, you were just uh, you were just uh, the guy I selected a moment ago. Okay, JJ. Now that we have uh, now that we have that crate, we can now just um, do it stuff. Okay, guys, now that we have that crate, so I didn't know what we were supposed to do earlier, but now that we have the crate, we can easily go ahead and destroy this crate. Okay, let's be careful. Let's be careful not to shoot each other. Ah, darn it, you guys. You guys are the worst shooting squad in the game. All right. Um, okay, we're going to switch it back to me now, and we're just going to build all that ice cream that this uh, that this buffoon was promised here. Now we can get those uh, Wookiee cookies that Chubers wants. Okay, yeah, blue. Okay, to think the guy would have heard it and stuff. Okay, apparently... Yeah, okay. Okay, he's just gonna access the thing now. Seriously, to think they to think they'd be more cooperative. I mean the fate of the world is at the hand is in their hands. I mean the fate of the galaxy is in their hands. Well the fate of every world in the galaxy is in the is in their hands, I should just pretty much say right now. Alright, there we go. Now we're gonna kinda build like a kinda build like the main train. I wanna call this I I wanna call this a train, but eh, you never know what this actually could be called. So oh, here we go. We got a nice good old shipping of Wookie cookies. Oh wow, I'm surprised none of these cookies are falling out with my uh, shoddy driving skills. Okay, yeah, we have a couple more mini kits, so I may or may not have missed one. So I might, uh, I'm probably gonna go back and collect that one mini kit to see if there's uh, anything I missed. Well, I may or may not have missed anything. You never know, but I'll still go back and check and see if I missed anything after the end of this episode. Okay, I might be, I'm most likely gonna be doing a Q&A tonight, you guys. So be sure you tune in tonight for, uh, for episode number four of Cosmic q and I was just trying to think what episode it was, but... Tune in. If you guys want to submit any more questions, uh, submit those questions. Uh, reply to my comments in the comments below and tell me what questions you have in mind for me. And with that being said, there's uh, that mini kit right there. Now, I think that's uh, all the mini kits. Oh, wait, we never loaded the rockets on in the first place. I just noticed that now. Well, what did we just load onto the rocket then? Okay, there's tubers doing some welding right up there. Okay, whoa, I, compl I thought we had loaded the rockets already. Man, those rockets really look like the rockets from... Uh, from uh, sorry, from Samus's rockets, they look like Samus's rockets in uh, Smash Bros. Like the regular rockets, not the super missiles. Okay, that's just uh, kind of a cool thing. Now we gotta look around for these rockets. I have no idea where they are. So where are they? Rockets, rockets, rockets. To think it'd be easy to find rockets capable of mass destruction and uh, killing first order dudes. Um, okay, okay, it's got it's gotta have something to do with this. Um, okay. Okay, we gotta. We need more people over here. So JJ, it looks like we're gonna have to uh, call up call up the squad again. Okay, let's just clear all this stuff here, and hopefully, 
yeah, there we go. We got that stuff cleared. So let's go ahead and get the squad back and, uh, yeah, let's get them to do this, uh, final scene of them doing stuff. We'll get them to do this final scene of pushing this, uh, giant turbine-looking engine over here. Okay, guys, final scene for today. We're gonna head over here. We're gonna head over to the other side of the resistance base and push a giant, uh, turbine-looking engine. Well, I'm gonna say it's a gen engine, but it could be, it could be an X-Wing engine or maybe the engine for a bigger spacecraft. Okay, oh, there's another mini kit right up there. Well, look at how stupid I am. So maybe once we push this thing over, I could easily hop it on up there with uh, Finn and just uh, use Ray's expert pull skills and whoop de doop de schmoodly doo we'll have that 10th uh, and final mini kit for this level at least. Doesn't look like we're gonna have time to do, uh, doesn't look like we're gonna have time to do uh, Luke's Island today, but hey, I suppose we'll be doing that in the next episode. It's gonna go rather fast, so I might do a little bit, uh, I might be doing a bit of a longer video next episode, because Luke's Island is gonna go rather fast, so I might do a little bit uh, about one of the bonus levels. So, yeah, that just kinda gets me thinking, when is the finale of Star Wars The Force Awakens gonna be? Now, I haven't really taken the time to think of that, so, yeah, I'm really honestly not sure at that point. Okay, the squad just runs off, so I guess, uh, they're finished acting for today. Alright, Finn, Junction Box Finn. Um, okay, I can't access that thing now, so I guess our only answer here is to go up the elevator. Why can't I go up the elevator? I don't know why I can't go up the elevator. Oh, I see why I can't go up the elevator. I have the thing's locked now. Well, crap. Looks like I'm gonna have to come back to this level on my own spare time, but, eh, you know what? It's alright. Finn, get your arse over here and... Okay, you have a grapple hook. I thought you didn't have a grapple hook for a moment, but no, you have a grapple hook. Now, let's be careful. Those rockets could be here anywhere. Okay, the rockets are... Right over there. So Finn, put the lightsaber away because we don't want to blow this entire base up. Well, it'd be it'd still be a good satisfying explosion. Now we want to be careful with these. Well, they seem securely tightened in, but the thing they be even more secured in once we have uh, once we have everything on the get go here. Now we're gonna go it rather carefully because we don't again we don't want to blow anybody up here. Well, we want to blow the first order up, but there we go. We now have all the last of that stuff done. So that's just gonna bring this video to an end. I'm gonna go back and. Uh, collect that other mini kit on my own spare time obviously so I can't believe I was stupid enough to miss that mini kit still it's really it's really harsh knowing that me versus ending but again like I said I'm gonna be doing a Q&A later tonight and I'm gonna be making the most of me versus on uh, me versus and my YouTube channel so be sure you go uh, watch me on um, me versus um, again my me versus channel is gonna be in the description below if you guys want to make sure you go follow me on it so be sure you do that because it's not gonna be long before Miiverse comes to an end. So, yeah, if you guys want to go check out all the stuff down in the description, be sure you go do that. So for now, that's about all the time we've got today. So thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe, leave comments down below, because I like them, and crank that like button to the max like Soldier Boy. Till then, I'm Hatfield15. Space out, bros and brositas.